Welcome to another treatment of the weekly Sunday School lesson. Today's Sunday School lesson is entitled Joshua's Spiritual Development for Leadership, and it's for October the 6th, 2024. Now, this Sunday School lesson is taken from the Radiant Life Adult Sunday School series published by the Assemblies of God, and you can order your own copy of the book by giving them a call at 855-642-2011. Exodus 33, 7-10. Now Moses used to take the tent and pitch it outside the camp, far from the camp, and he called it the tent of meeting. And everyone who sought the Lord would go out to the tent of meeting, which was outside the camp. Whenever Moses went out to the tent, all the people would rise up, and each would stand at the tent door and watch Moses until he had gone into the tent. When Moses entered the tent, the pillar of cloud would descend and stand at the entrance of the tent, and the Lord would speak with Moses. And when all the people saw the pillar of cloud standing at the entrance of the tent, all the people would rise up and worship, each at his tent door. Now, this was not the tabernacle. The tabernacle was placed at the center of the camp. This was on the edge of the camp. It was not a place of sacrifice and offerings, but a connecting place with God. It was a place where God spoke through Moses to the people. Exodus 33 and 11. Thus the Lord used to speak to Moses face to face as a man speaks to his friend. When Moses turned again into the camp, his assistant Joshua, the son of Nun, a young man, would not depart from the tent. We see that Moses had a very close relationship with God. Joshua was, Joshua was the only one that stayed with Moses during these close encounters with God. This was giving Joshua close-up training on leading the children of Israel. Numbers 11, 24, and 25. So Moses went out and told the people the words of the Lord. And he gathered 70 men of the elders of the people and placed them around the tent. Then the Lord came down in the cloud and spoke to him and took some of the spirit that was on him and put it on the 70 elders. And as soon as the spirit rested on them, they prophesied, but they did not continue doing it. Now, this was a miraculous event. This cloud was the same as what was seen throughout the trip from Egypt. The cloud being visible and the 70 elders prophesying confirmed that God had approved these 70 elders. Numbers 11, 26 through 30. Now, two men remained in the camp, one named Ildad and the other named Medad, and the Spirit rested on them. They were among those registered, but they had not gone out to the tent. And so they prophesied in the camp. And a young man ran and told Moses, Ildad and Medad are prophesying in the camp. And Joshua, the son of Nun, the assistant of Moses, from his youth said, My Lord Moses, stop them. But Moses said to him, are you jealous for my sake? Would that all the Lord's people were, were prophets and the Lord would put his spirit on them. And Moses and the elders of Israel returned to the camp. Two of the elders did not go to that tent of meeting, but they prophesied too. Joshua misunderstood and thought they should not be prophesying because they were not at the tent. Moses let him know that it's perfectly fine. They were just as much an elder as the other 68 who were at the tent of meeting. Numbers 27, 18 through 23. 
So the Lord said to Moses, Take Joshua, the son of Nun, a man in whom is the Spirit, and lay your hands on him. Make him stand before Eliezer, the priest, and all the congregation, and you shall commission him in their sight. You shall invest him with some of your authority, that all the congregation of the people of Israel may obey. And he shall stand before Eleazar the priest, who shall inquire for him by the judgment of the Urim before the Lord. At his word they shall go out, and at his word they shall come in, both he and all the people of Israel with him, the whole congregation. And Moses did as the Lord commanded him. He took Joshua and made him stand before Eleazar the priest and the whole congregation. And he laid his hands on him and commissioned him as the Lord directed through Moses. Now, it's good to let successors serve in some assistant position before all authority is turned over to them. Senior pastors should do that when they know they will soon retire. And that's exactly what Moses was doing with making Joshua his assistant. Deuteronomy 31 and 14. And the Lord said to Moses, Behold, the days approach when you must die. Call Joshua and present yourselves in the tent of meeting that I may commission him. And Moses and Joshua went and presented themselves in the tent of meeting. Now the time of Moses was ending. God commissioned Joshua to be his replacement. Deuteronomy 31 and 23. And the Lord commissioned Joshua the son of Nun and said, Be strong and courageous, for you shall bring the people of Israel into the land that I swore to give them. I will be with you. Now, I'm sure that Joshua remembered what happened to the ten fearful spies. And he and Caleb, when he and Caleb spied out the land. We should all take the command to be strong and of good courage to heart. It's so easy to let fear block us from doing the work of God. But we should move forward and do what God has called us to do. Friends, be strong and of good courage. want to thank you for listening to today's lesson. If you want to get in touch with me, you can contact me by email, donnybryson at gmail.com. You can go to my website, www.gospelmailbox.org. Or you can even call me on my cell phone, 423-355-3859. Well, friends, good Lord willing, I'll be back with you next weekend.